All right, straight from my studio, just like the old days. I haven't, um, man, I haven't done a video in ages, but um, I said, I said, why not? Let's do a video. Okay. Um, so recently, I have had uh, some very, some life-changing events. Um, on December thirty-first, twenty twenty-three, one two three one two three. Um, my spiritual father, he, he passed on, um, and I knew him since I was 14-ish, probably, long time, so that was like, um, man, something like 35 years, I'm not going to do the math right now, anyways, that was, that's been, it's been a little challenging, a little rough, I know he's in a much better place. Um, July 10th, my, um, my father passed away, my biological father, uh, 2024. <sighs> and so, uh, that one was a little rougher, um, both are rough, man. But, um, I have a point to all this, it ties into my regular videos and podcasts. But I mean, I want to be real with y'all, you know, and I want to share real stuff and, you know, how God can um, show up, you know. All right, get to the point, man. So my phone video here, man, I'm sorry, but I don't have my old car and it had a perfect setup, man, it was perfect. I get one of those little fancy stands here, I guess. Whatever. <sighs> I'm sorry. Maybe I'm a little nervous. So, um, back in April Fool's Day, I um, I was in prayer, and um, while I was in prayer, I I saw that I was going to meet a man in Jamaica, um, and uh, we recently took a chip trip to Jamaica. And what I wrote down from what I can recollect right now was he's been waiting for a long time. I felt like he was very much an older gentleman. And that he had, that I had either like a, a word for him, something to share, and him possibly vice versa, maybe. I don't think I wrote that though. Um, and then, what was the other part? He had, he, before he, information shared with him was not accurate and uh, there was a lot of pretend, pretense people were fake right and um, so in my mind I, I think embellished it and I felt like I was going to uh, meet a um, <laughs> a Rastafarian uh, shaman you know something like that and I was waiting and then I thought to myself well, maybe it was just me you know kind of thing so keep in mind, four months prior to that, my spiritual father had passed away. Three months after that, my biological father passes away. Well, today is Monday. Yesterday, we came back from a trip to Jamaica. And um, <clears throat> ironically, my father wants his ashes spread in Jamaica, and a little bonus. Um, there'll be probably another trip. Um, and we're, we're planning that out here. But anyways, um, so, uh, we went on a cruise, you know, and on the cruise, um, met a lot of wonderful people, made a lot of new friends, and, um, it was very cool. I like that part of it. I like the beaches and all that good stuff. Anyways, um, we, um, we're on our excursion. We docked in Jamaica, and um, I met this older gentleman. Hey man, how you doing, blah, blah, blah. That was it, you know. He's like a really nice guy. And so, we get to Jamaica, and it is kind of hot. Uh, it was very hot everywhere we went. And um, while we were there in Jamaica, um, we went to this beach. I forgot the name of it, doesn't matter. Beautiful beach. And, um, you know, they're sitting at this uh, restaurant right next to it and all that good stuff. 
and there is the, the older gentleman I had seen before earlier in the day on the ship and I said so do what I do chewing the fat hey man blah 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 you know and so uh, he's like yeah what's going on and um, we just kept talking and talking and then bam it hit me and I'm like and I told him <laughs> did I tell him uh, yes I did I said man back in April I said I had a I guess kind of a vision or whatever in, in prayer and I, and I felt like I was going to meet an older gentleman and I thought it was going to be a uh, Rastafarian you know kind of do I mean, what do you expect Anyways, um, I think that part was me, and I said, it's, I'm pretty sure it's you. And this beautiful man, his name is Willie. He's an African-American man, and not that that matters. But I'm not. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. Y'all know my humor, I hope I know. Um... The more we talked, and I share with him my father, I share with him spiritual father, and then he told me he has 19 children. Yes. And then he said he has 33 houses that he owns. And he's just telling me all these things. And, um, and the more that I talked to him, the more that we just grew more familiar and like I um, there was a kinship there was a connection very strong spiritual connection and then all of a sudden I had man I don't remember all this context I'm, I apologize but I got crazy emotional I couldn't even look at him he got emotional and couldn't look at me I mean dude we're like pepper and salt and pepper we do not look alike at all but when I see this man when I think of this man even right now to sharing this with you um, he's like my grandpa he's my grandpa and he's like my brother I don't know how to describe it man I have never encountered I, I don't know okay let's go on 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 so we'll go back to the cruise ship and but wait there's more there's a little bit more and um, I have a beautiful little my daughter and she uh, her and I are little are billy goats boom 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 and uh, I was a little um, flustered and uh, so we went to the lunch area or whatever you call a food area and uh, I was ticked off man I was very ticked off and um, and I said man you know what happens you need to pray because what happens is when I get ticked off I mean it's like a little tilt everything in my life it just tilts and I'm like you need to chill pray <clears throat> so I was like okay so I started to pray on at the table and just kind of to myself quietly the moment that I did that, guess who walks in? Mr. Willie. And um, and I was, because uh, I'm, I'm like, boo, right? And I look up and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. I mean, there's 2,500 people, you know, on the ship. Anyways, I saw him and it got stronger. And I said, man, I said, I was just right now so ticked off. And I and I and there you are, man. And I said, I really feel like the Lord. <laughs> he said, Here you go, man. <laughs> and he said, Man, I was just telling my wife I wanted to see Trent. And uh, I just had tears. So he went his way. I went my way. <clears throat> and I, I was like, Lord, you know, who is this man? I don't look like him. He doesn't look like me. What is this? And I don't even care what you look like, man. But it's just, maybe it's God's humor. No, you know what it is? God sees our hearts. And that's what the word says. He sees our hearts. And man, his heart is like mine. 
Maybe if I'm his age. He's 84 years old. He said 85, but I think he's 84. <clears throat> because they announced his name at something. And I was like, man, that has to be him. Because he's probably only 84 year old on this ship. And uh, anyways, I saw him. So, went our separate ways. Like I said, I was... I couldn't hold it back. It was interesting. Then uh, we were talking and he goes, I'm on the same deck and floor as you. A few doors down. We discovered that by just, kept, we kept talking. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I have his number, I've stayed in contact. Um, and so long story short in this, I was like, you know, Lord, who, 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 who is this? What is this? And he and I heard simply, he is healing for you. He is healing for you, for me. And then I, I asked Willie, I'm like, man, I said, man, or I told him, I said, I said, I get, I'm getting a lot of healing, man, just, just to see who you are, and just to talk with you. I don't understand it, because <clears throat> he's just being him, <laughs> man. I mean, just to <clears throat> think of him. <clears throat> and he said the same thing about me. And um, I did not expect that either. But um, God is real. He's not blind. He's not deaf. Nor is his hand too short to save. He remembers your tears. He remembers your prayers. And he has divine appointments set up everywhere for you. And just keep, keep on keeping on. And uh, don't try so hard. And just lie in that river, man, and go with the flow with him. It's not hard. Yes, man, you're gonna have hard days, period, regardless. Go on, go on. But the point is, is go on with him. And um, see what he does. He'll do a lot. And this is only the beginning. I met other people too. And I, I got another number. And um, my father was a Marine. <clears throat> and I met this other gentleman who was a Marine. <laughs> he could have been Willie's brother. Um, and then I heard, saw another Marine and another Marine. And um, that was cool too, you know. Um, I'm trying to remember. Okay. Mm. Mm, okay. I'm just asking and waiting if I should share this part or not. When I went to go see my father, we were laying with him, or laying with him, staying with him for hospice at, at his house for almost for about three days, turning him over you know cleaning him stuff like that that was extremely difficult and I remember I got there the first day and I had to go outside because I was in tears and I had to compose myself and then all of a sudden I felt my mother and uh, the, the spiritual father was right there my mother died in the hospital and he became a surrogate, spiritual father, whatever, to me, right after she died. Anyways, I hadn't felt her for over 35 years-ish or so, yeah? And um, I felt her spirit. And it's weird because, you know, it's like you haven't felt somebody in a long time. I just felt her spirit, and I just had this moan come out. Very, very deep place in me, which also to me is where that this gentleman, Willie, touches me at, in my heart as well. As deep calls calls unto deep, the psalm says. And and when I let out that 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 groan, I, uh, I like I said, I felt my mother. And then I heard, I feel like the Lord opened up this little window, and and I heard my mother's voice. And my my wife and my daughter were there, and they've never met my mother. I heard we talk about her so many times. They're probably sick of it. Um, anyways, my mother said, what I heard was, I really like your wife, 
I really like your wife. I really like her. And my granddaughter is beautiful. And the reason that she was there, in my opinion, was to comfort my father. Because my father was married two more times and he told them that he never stopped loving my mother. And uh, I don't know if I shared that with my, I think I shared that with my dad. The next two days, um, that was like a Sunday, I think Tuesday-ish, from what I remember, if I'm remembering right. At around lunchtime, I felt, I felt God tell me that your dad's gonna pass away tonight. And everybody's there and I'm like, you don't blast that out to everybody. And I just said quietly, I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but I just kind of had a feeling. And I went home and my sister was there also with us. We had a great time with the grandchildren and family and just a really fun time, you know, kind of just being together, <sighs> taking care of him. We get home, or no, to the hotel, <clears throat> and I go outside and left the phone in, in the hotel. And I tell my dad, I said, no, 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 before we got to the hotel, I'm driving and I felt this weird pain in my stomach. And that pain I usually get when, I'm, when I pray for people. I feel this spiritual stuff in my stomach. So I called my stepmother and I was like, is this, are you okay, is everything all right? And she says, I'm fine. I said, well, I have this pain in my stomach. She said, that, well, that's what your your dad you had. She was. I think it's your dad, and I'm like, I think you're right. And in, in retrospect, I feel like he was gonna he was missing us. And uh, and I was like, okay. So I went back to the hotel, left the phone in the room, went outside, and I said, uh, I said, Dad, I said goodbye, Dad. Very shortly after that, my wife runs out and says. Your stepmother just called. Your dad passed away. And uh, so I went there and saw him. And when I saw him, I'm like, that's not my dad. That's just the earth suit he lived in, you know? But like, like I said, um, and so the point of that one is, 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 the, is God can prepare you for all this. You're going to feel the hurt and pain. Grieve it. Get your healing, you know? I'm still processing this stuff, um, but I wanted to share with y'all because, uh, like I said, it's real life, and um, I, I wanted you to know that you can be comforted in these times by really good friends and beautiful family, and most of all, the Lord and uh, Yeshua and the Father. So, all right, a very long one. And a, a long time no see. You'll have a good one. Bye.